Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. Um, no particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your first house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support. Easiest ways via the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, does wonders for the growth, almost to 20,000. Um, so thank you very much indeed. Thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, the extendeds, the buy me a coffees, donations, etc. really helps out, so thank you. Crosswatch is more than welcome, and also all the information is in the description box below. Okay, let's see what is going on for you guys. One more. Aries. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. It's a, it's a card of mastery. It's a card of uh, being skillful. Um, I almost feel like it's... There's been hard work and toil. So let's see what's going on. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Ah, okay, I know what's going on here. I, I know why the eight's here. Advice. Potential outcome. Okay. We have the Hierophant. We have the Four of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Um, Six of Swords. Judgment. Page of Wands. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to be looking for Jupiter in a minute. So. So, Wheel of Fortune, should I say. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is here to represent eight degrees of Jupiter. Jupiter is in your sign now, however, um, which would indicate a lot of um, positive energy, a lot of um, uh, good things come in Aries' way. There's a frustration though, because it's slow. Uh, it's interesting, I was talking to my mother about this this morning, and... Um, Jupiter moves into Taurus in May. So between now and May, it's in your sign. It's going to bring you a lots of um, positive energy. Um, however, the retrograde happens. What we're aware of is the two of wands. This is my retrograde card um, uh, in general, just me as a reader. What we're not aware of is the queen of wands. Queen of wands is representing you here, obviously, fire sign. Dog a cop in genders, but this is magnetically drawing in the um, the energies that you want. There's been a frustration. Yes, Pluto, um, uh, Jupiter went back into Pisces and then took its um, um, its retrograde, and then it went back into Aries. And technically, you should have felt that burst of energy. You know, back to feeling Queen of Wands. Um, um, it, Queen of Wands can sometimes be my Lizzo card, feeling good as hell. Uh, so it's, this, it's like this energy that should have come, but it hasn't yet. Uh, and it's interesting when I say eight degrees of Jupiter is when it started its retrograde back. So we got to eight degrees Aries and then it retrograded back into Jupiter in uh, Pisces. Recent past, Nine of Cups, Jupiter in Pisces. We don't feel that burst of energy again until it reaches back to that eight degrees of Aries. And that's when everything's gonna start coming forward for you. We're, we're currently just at one degree um, of, uh, of Aries at the moment. So in a couple of weeks, you're gonna feel a burst of energy again. It's gonna be the, the, the wheel of fortune. It's gonna be coming in for you. Um, so the, whatever stagnancy that's been played here, because your your um, your advice is the four of pentacles, is is and the four of pentacles is is kind of like um, feeling closed off a little bit. Your advice is to it's, it's okay to let go. It's okay to unblock um, because the blessings are coming, and your outcome is the ace of cups, which is beautiful energy. This is new uh, aspects coming in, new love, new um, vibrations, new frequencies. Um, and just, yeah, a focus on um, 
positive energy coming your way. So let's check out where the Wheel of Fortune is, because that's essentially Jupiter. Okay, there's another message here as well. Um, it's going to be very, very beneficial for you in the sense of feeling good about you. This is all about self-love. So Jupiter in the first house, which is where it's going to be for Aries in general, um, is really uh, putting the energy on the self, the physical, feeling good. This is going to be like a burst of energy to feel good about yourself. When it comes to finances, this is holding on tight to your finances. When it comes to finances, you're going to see that more when it moves into Taurus. Because when it's in Taurus, you're starting to celebrate here because you're going to be um, in the second house of um, values, uh, money, money you earn. Um, and that's when there's going to be a, an increase in your finances. So take this time to maybe... I almost feel like just relax into it because things are going to change for your benefit very, very soon. Wheel of Fortune is with the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Interesting. And with the Sun in Aries, Three of Wands straight afterwards. Jupiter is going to show you where you're self-sabotaging in life. It's going to show you... Um, It could even show you hidden enemies here. Let's see. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, between now, <laughs> sorry, it makes sense in my head. Uh, the 12th house is hidden enemies. So going back into Pisces and then still feeling that Piscean energy until the eight degrees, you might in the next couple of weeks be seeing who's on your side and who isn't. <coughs> Picture this transition as like elementals. So you've got the energy of um, um, Jupiter was in Aries, and then so it's fire, it's 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 fire, it's moving forward, it's um, passions, it's going quickly. Uh, Aries energy is is is, is you're the god of war. Um, uh, it's um, it's fire, it's passion, it's it's forward movement. Reversing back into Pisces, which is a water sign, it's like putting out the fire. And then we're going back into Aries, it's like drying off and then trying to warm up again. And that's the period between sort of now at one degree uh, Aries to when we get to eight degrees, you dried off and then forward moment again. That's the energy I'm kind of seeing here. It's like you're coming away from um, maybe a little bit of a descent. Rumi, you, you know I love my Rumi quotes, uh, and Rumi's quote is like, you you have seen my defend, de defend. you have seen my descent, uh, now watch my rising, and that's the energy of this. Let's just quickly see where judgment is, judgment is with the page of wands and the six of swords, um, this is leaving behind the water, and drying off, and the fire, and your ascension, good things are coming. I just feel like there's been a little bit of um, maybe frustration, um, maybe feeling closed off because of just the energies that's been surrounding you. Um, give it a couple of weeks and boom, you're going to be um, really, really feeling this um, um, powerful burst of energy from, uh, from Jupiter. I like it. Okay. So in your extended, we will look at what this Ace of Cups is bringing in. Um, we'll concentrate on, um, this could be love, this could be opportunities, this could be just a, a feeling of freedom. Whatever it is, we'll look, we'll concentrate on that. We'll do nine cards, past, present, future, positive things coming in, negative things to watch out for, as well as uh, your advised next steps. Okay? So, we have... Taurus, we have Sun in Virgo, Sun in Capricorn, Mars in Aries, we have Jupiter in Pisces, Venus in Aries, Mercury in Aquarius, Scorpio Libra, Sagittarius, Moon in Aquarius, Sun in Aries, Pentacles, Wands, Cups, Swords, everyone's here, those are your standouts. Uh, if you enjoy me in the extended, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates and I shall see you next time. Bye.